Hi, I'm Sean from DaneCountyMarket.com, powered by Keller Williams Realty. Today we're going to be talking about misconceptions of the winter market. We'll focus on sellers today. In a future video, we'll focus on buyers. Welcome back to our video blog. So let's take a look at this chart for accepted offers by month, number of accepted offers by month for 2015 for single family homes and condos in Dane County. As you can see in March and April and May were the three highest months. April is the highest. That's traditionally what happens. And December has the fewest number of accepted offers. Now let's look at a, another chart, which is the number of accepted offers by month, the number of closings, because remember closings occur between a month to 60 days later, let's call it 50 days um, later. So you'll see the accepted offers, you'll see closings, but you'll also see inventory levels and um, number of listings on the market at the end of each month. If you were to just look at this and say, when should I list my house? You'd probably point to March as the number of buyers is increasing, the number of listings is increasing, number of accepted offers is starting to peak. Um, that would be ideal. Note the inventory levels in December, and although the number of sales is quite a bit lower than the peak month, you'll notice that um, you'd have less competition. So now let's talk about the, the buyer part of it. Who in their right mind is gonna be out looking at houses in, in these months? Um, it's daylight savings time's over. It's dark by the time most people get done with work. It's also, the weather's typically pretty rotten, cold or snowy or slushy. Who's going out in that? I'll tell you who, it's serious buyers typically. So having your house on the market in the winter months is going to produce fewer showings, but our argument is that you'll have more serious buyers. So it isn't necessarily a bad time to have your house or a condo on the market. Couple other pieces of information many of the summer listings are going to expire soon and most of these folks won't relist until the weather's nicer so late spring early summer um, thinking that's when most of the sales occur but as you know those are accepted offers that occurred almost two months earlier so that's good news for you as a seller the second piece of good news is the interest rates remain at historically low levels so interest rates help with affordability for buyers and therefore for sellers to get their property sold. I hope all this information helps you. Please call me with any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching our video blog. We'll see you next time. <music>